Infinite Tarot 888. This message is for Sagittarius. Now you can have Sagittarius anywhere in your chart. And Sagittarius, it might be over now. Whew. This message may resonate with you, or maybe just a piece. Let's get into your message as we, as we exit Aquarius season. They're saying, okay, okay, okay. So you might have somebody spying on you. We did see the Two of Cups come right here. And then we have the Page of Swords. Hold on, man. Like, look, that song is, I'm your puppet. So there's two things. Because we got this, which is the, the Emperor. And then at the, the other side of the deck, it says the Eight of Swords. I'm your puppet. Somebody wanted to keep you stuck, and it could have been this emperor. Or you wanted to be somebody's puppet. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so what we see at the end of this story, because they want me to go deep, this is what they wanted to keep from you, this victory, this six of, six of wands. They said, Mira, pinche palito, andas bien caliente, you... Look, you may have some people fighting over you. Sagittarius. I'm your puppet. You got some people confused. Sagittarius, look, they don't want to know. I just want Sagittarius. I just want Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, you may have some people confused because you're not fighting. You're not doing nothing. It's like, you know what? Fuck it. Why don't you want to fight anymore? I don't know. They might have had you in this energy too long. You know, and this this may be you taking your freaking power back. Look, you you vibing it hasta cueradito en un pinche caballo. You're not butt naked on a horse and somebody wants to keep, come and give you an offer, but there's too much conflict. Now, this could have been in the past. Look, who has the biggest stick? If you're a lady, they're like, I got the biggest stick. But... You know, for a few of my men, you got a couple of mm, ladies that are fighting over you. Don't even know. All kind of conflict and all kinds of shit. But you have people confused and they want to come in, but they don't even know where to come in. That's the problem. <laughs> the lovers is here. There's a lot of attraction. Hold your horses. You know, you have horse. But yeah, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. I hear Archangel Michael has your back. And look, you have the Queen, the King of Swords, actually. Now look, this King of Swords could have left you in the past with this Five of Pentacles. For some of you guys, if you're a lady, you could have had to leave your home. This is somebody you love. It fell right underneath the Two of Cups. And this per this per this this person could have kicked you out with you and your kids. If you're a man, also with your kids, I guess. But for some of my men, they left you out in the cold, and that was you and your guardian angel. You know, and you might have not seen it, but they're like, damn. And you might have been up north. It might have been a cold, very cold uh, time. I'm here in, during COVID or something, and God was watching over. You know, watching over your, you know, your situation. Now, some of you guys are dealing with somebody with their head like that, bald, you know, and maybe two twins, Gemini. I don't know. That's your story. But look, let's get into your, to your reading. Because some of you guys, you saw right through them. All you wanted was love or to give love to these particular people. Pero, ¿sabes qué? They, they didn't even know what they wanted. So some of you guys are like, fuck that. You don't want my love, okay? Well, you took your shit. Because there was a third party. Some of you guys ran into this particular person and see that other person over there? Se está haciendo pendejo, pendeja. I don't know her, but you, you saw right through them. And you just left them in the dust. They might have been wearing green at the time, you know? Some lugs. If you're a man, they had, she had her lugs on or whatever they call it, you know? 
Those chingaderas, they keep warm and shit. For my ladies, if you were messing with the guy that had these kind of boots, I don't know what to tell you. No offense, pero, you know? Mm-hmm. Now, he could have been an older rock and roll kind of guy, okay? Let's put it that way, like Eagles, you know, or something like that. They like the Eagles. Maybe he rode a motorcycle. I don't know is what I'm hearing. But a lot of you guys got tired. Some of you guys were in a relationship, and you felt alone. Solita, y te tenía. Y'all had already cooked and everything. You just were dealing with somebody that just wasn't coming through. Which is, you know, pretty typical for a man, you know. Just, just doing our thing, I guess. I don't know. But look, something about the home. Some of you guys are about to get married. If this isn't work, this is a teamwork. This something that is going to be put together. If you're married, you could be baptizing, you know? And los compadres no han llegado. <laughs> Some of you guys, it could be a divorce now. Some of you guys could be getting a divorce. After this shit, who wants to go back to somebody that kicked you out of your own house? I'm hearing. <laughs> oh, man, this, this person, you know what? This person held on too hard to your things, you know? If you went through a divorce, there's a possibility with these two cards, these four pinnacles, is they wanted to take everything from you, you know, like fucking take you to the cleaners. <laughs> Some of you guys can know how that feels. And this could have been somebody you love, look. Lovers. But, you know, he or she was too worried, you know, about looking somewhere else. Or maybe you were inspecting this shit, you know, let me see where you've been. For my guys, you might have been sniffing some underwear. So why would you do that? If she been with somebody else, you would have never do that. <laughs> never do that. <laughs> but they need they want me to say, <laughs> ¿Y por qué te salen granos en la nariz? <laughs> but look, from some with whatever happened, whatever you found out, for a lot of you guys, it was a heartbreak and it was a tower. And you, shit, y'all, if y'all caught them in the house, a la chingada, they both jumped out. And maybe from the second floor building, you know? Yeah, it was a rude awakening. So I'm butt naked out here. But for a lot of you guys, you saw this coming. You might have told them. Because you know what I'm picking up? Sagittarius. Some, some Sagittarius. For some of you guys, let me put it right here. Because look, you, know, you knew that shit was going to happen. Look, some of you guys could be dealing with the cancer. You could have cancer in your chart. With these two together, it's like you were you were just moving on your way, like going your route. You were going after your ambition. For some of you guys, this particular persona, this is something uh, about this person. They didn't like that you were moving in a different direction, and it's almost like you fought, you found yourself fighting for what you believe. And this could have even been your family, you know, because look, right behind it was this. You might have had two kids, but hell, you know, what they were keeping you away from being the brinchy star, you know, and you're going after your dreams. Look, the eight of pentacles with the star. You know, we can't, st as much as you like to be naked, I was going to call you something else, but Sagittarius, you were going after something that you enjoy, something that just brightens you up, you know, look, and it's a freaking blessing that whatever you get into is Sagittarius. Especially if it's in your north note, I'm, I'm believing, or something. They said something that you love to do. You're meant to do. But this ex that you you might have not caught him in the house. For some of you guys, you just, your, what do you call it? Your intuition, your third eye just saw this thing, or you just picked it up. And it was shocking. So if you have zero contact with this particular person since you called them out on the situation and you have like that zero protection, uh, what do they call it? Well, you can't see them, contact them, whatever. And it was you that was busted out. It's because you called them out and they're freaking out. How did you know? And for some of you guys, it could have been somebody they, they worked with or you worked with or all of y'all worked with. <laughs> could be an Aquarius. And it could have been something you called them out. And what really freaked them out 
I'm hearing for some of you guys, if you were already exiting the this connection, because the three is it's three of pentacles. Check it out. 33 is very important. Three of pentacles and the three of swords right behind it. So it's something you might have been talking already to your to your pastor, your priest, some somebody in the religion. So when this happened in, in Sagittarius, you might have had already one foot or both foot out. That was just the final step and you wanted to do shit right. So maybe you were going as what it looks like. You wanted to do the things right for it to be for it to be important for these guys, for your kids. Ah, ay, que gacho. So this particular person might have did this shit just to get back at you, to get you jealous. And this is what was hidden. Look, you just cards don't lie. How do you know this shit? Look, right behind it, look. This particular person wanted to take your spot. But you called judgment and they said, Ahora sí, con las manos para arriba, cabrones. That could have been the cops, you know. But what I'm hearing is... Sagittarius, you might have been dealing with somebody that... That was pity as fuck. Look, they, they meant to... They meant to stab you in the back. And for some of you guys, this was repeated and repeated. And it's like, God, the universe, you didn't even know you were tapped in, but you were hearing things. And I'm here, there's something about them. They were probably saying that you were full of shit, that you weren't connected. But when you called them out on this bullshit, no mamas is like, look, the moon is like, what? Believe me, they've scared of you. Because you might have called out some shit that they probably did even more than that. Yeah. Un pinche tren. Ay, de la chingada. I don't know, but let's keep it pushing. And the crazy thing is, look, it was a cancer. You might have, this, this person probably betrayed a cancer. There's cancer with their, in their chart or something. But what they were trying to prevent, if you went through this, And you had to end up in the five of pentacles or yeah, out in the cold. You stayed obeyed. It was, it's almost like the rejection. They might have looked at, at the rejection as an accomplishment for them, but it was actually God pushing you out. There was too many false promises in this connection. And where you're heading, look, where you're heading, you got. You got the freaking Ace of Pentacles and then the Ace of Swords. You know what I mean? Chili beans. The universe wanted to put you in this path. You had to go within it. It was, it's possible that you were already going through this. It's, it's, it's almost like they were trying to block your third eye. Sagittarius, don't forget to hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment. Don't be like this, this fool right here. Look, no, I don't want to, I don't want to push it. Put your energy behind it. Don't be scared. It says right here. This particular person took you for granted. There was things that God, the universe was telling you to tell this person. If you were married to them, you kept telling them, mira, look, they didn't want to listen. And for some of you guys, this particular person even was part or was acting very religious. Maybe even doing classes at your house. I don't know. Some some kind of weird shit. But, but they, you know, how? Make it make sense. If you practice religion, you're having all these classes and you're attending. Maybe this particular person, he or she attended, you know, part of the, the church. But when it came down to situation right here, I'm here for something for better or for worse. Yeah, something about that. No, she didn't fulfill that part of it. See, if this was something, they, this uh, Sagittarius, if this is you, or this could be whoever you're dealing with, there was something you found out. It closed. They, they basically, because when you don't have shit to hide, you will not run from somebody. You'll be able to present yourself. You know, in my, well, at least how we grew up in the street or lo que sea, they said, and I remember even my old man's friends say that this said, if a person has to hide behind the laws, 
it's because, you know, when it comes to you, it's because they betrayed you in a certain way that shouldn't. <laughs> Nobody's going to hide behind the law for a certain reason. So this something this particular person did that caused a lot of conflict, man or female. Mm -hmm. But I'm here. Pray for them. Because a lot of you guys, even though they did you wrong, you always prayed for this particular person. If this was a family, I, I'm pretty sure you don't even see your kids. Look, the heartbreak, it goes from the tower to the going diagonal. Look, the tower, the three of swords, and then the ten of cups. Oh, shit, they destroyed this whole thing. And look, the universe had a call. The, ten of, the will of fortune with the eight. Called it quits. Close it down. Mm. Like I said, some of you guys wanted to leave this particular person. And, I keep, and look, you could have been this 10 of pentacles, but somebody wanted to take your spot or something, Sagittarius. Look, this, this one to come out. They wanted to keep you trapped. So this might have been happening. They might have been celebrating. Because for some of you guys, I don't know if why I'm picking up on this. There's three. So this person that you're dealing with, man or female, I'm leaning more to female. This could be even what you guys are experiencing. This could have been a, a widowed mother and the two daughters. I don't think it would be a man. This is going to resonate for, for my men or maybe for y'all too. Could have been one of your sister's uh, mom, in other words, and they just hated how you, like if you guys are sisters, I'm talking like to two sisters and your sister's family hated the connection you have with your husband. I don't know if you're getting that, but in another, in another situation, as a man, you could have been dealing with a, a widow married to somebody that has a mom that was widowed, but another sister. And it's almost like they, they came together. You'll know because the other sister's probably the same way. Divorced. I'm hearing both divorced. So they're celebrating. But And I'm hearing it could have been the mom that might have been putting shit in their, in their head. But she didn't want to feel alone. Or I don't know. I don't know who's going to resonate. Who needs to hear that? But they didn't want to be alone. So they had to sabotage, you know, the relationships that they had with their, with their significant other. So this could have been... A mother that sabotaged their daughter's um, relationship or marriages because she didn't want to be alone. That's crazy. I'm hearing something about feeling emotionally dead. And look, Queen of Cups, look, she's a queen and she's looking down and she's right there by the ocean. And she's throwing something in the ocean. Maybe they threw a petition or something. I don't know. And you know what? Some of them in their sleep, while they're dormidas or sleeping, I don't think they could sleep too good because they're dreaming of what they had with you. The way I treated you was wrong. It's like they could, they know, they know. They might have made you false promises. Look, and it's coming up and I let you got it. So let's get out of this energy because this is Fuchi energy. Look, the three of swords just fell down. That was all asleep. And guys, for a lot of you guys, they want you to keep praying. Archangel Michael is saying, keep praying. Even for them, even if they hurt you, they did you wrong. Keep praying. It'll bring you good karma. A lot of you guys just praying and keeping your vibration high is you don't understand how much it's going to help you out. And some of you guys are getting too high is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Take it easy, Bubba, is what I'm hearing. So let's see. Well, before we get into this. All right, let's see. Let's see. What do you got for career? Some of y'all want love? Okay. Let's pull three, four. For love. One more shuffle. Okay. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising. 
hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment, baby, if this is you. Some of you guys aren't accepting no more breadcrumbs when it comes to love. Some of you guys are not even focused on love. I keep hearing, hey, move on. Let me know about my career, look. But look, some of you guys are gonna fall in love with your career, something new you're doing, or something you're reinventing. You, you could have been going head, chocando just, and look, the queen of wands, but you're about to be so confident in what you're gonna do. See, your third eye is open. Mm-hmm. That's what they, didn't I say earlier? They wanted to block this. And the way, the way you love the universe, God, it keeps you in the nine of coins, prosperity, victory. And this is something they, they wanted to stop for you. See if the mother, I was going to say the motherfucker. If the mother wanted, if y'all were dealing with the, if y'all were going through the divorce and you guys know this or feel this, you will know because it's almost like they took you through the cleaners. I said it earlier, but they can't run something. That was meant for you. They'll run it to the ground. But what they hate, it's almost like you get your wishes always granted or you will be after all this loss that you had. Some of you guys, like I said, they made it harder for you, harder for you, not realizing that karma, how karma works. Because a lot of you guys didn't retaliate. I'm telling you, if you guys were going or you're going through this situation, handle up. Get your advice. Go to the priest. Talk to God. Don't fuck up. Go to God. You'll get. Look, nobody's freaking perfect. And if you were leaving one relationship to go to another because there was no love, because you kept trying and trying. And you, and you, you look, they didn't want to change. And then we have the three of cups coming out again. And, and you just. You were just ready to go and you wanted to do it the right way. And you're going to, to, um, to a church, whatever your pastor, your, your, if you're Catholic, um, el priest, el padre. And this particular person did you that dirty and they claim Christian. Mm -hmm. Let it be on their end because look, and for some of you guys, this could have been over. It's just somebody in their ear. But they didn't listen. There's a major lesson when it comes to that. Because look, they had these burdens, but you never gave up, man or female. And nobody, you know what? People saw this shit. They were sipping tea and this and that. Oh, no, she'll be back. She won't make it. But see where God was leading you, the universe, you, know, you didn't care what you had to go through. You still kept pushing as, as these people kept talking. Chitter chatter, oh, she or he'll be back, but ni madres. And little by little, you started picking up momentum, or you will. And look, you start to even pop wheelies, and we said motorcycle earlier, and you start taking these risks. And to me, for a woman to see this motorcycle, it's like, you know what? You're taking on this challenge fearlessly. And what you're about to do, olvídate. Things could be, they could be attacking you spiritually and this, and this is just, for, for my ladies, this is even a sister that just hated you going in a different direction. This could even be a younger sibling. And since, and, and I'm hearing even y'all's parents or something might have, this is a sibling that they didn't, they weren't strict at all with them, put it that way. And with you, they might have been strict. You might have got, I'm, you got it. You could have been married a little uh, sooner than what you wanted just to leave the house. Un viejo cochino, I'm here. <laughs> Some of you guys married. Yeah, it was uh, older. Uh, why did you see it now? No, let's change it. For some of you guys, yes. And you being free, if you wanted to be with somebody finally that made you happy, it's like they, they didn't like that. Sagittarius, look. Some of you guys, it's closest ones. If you're, for some of you guys, y'all have one sibling. One sibling that when y'all separated and all this tower shit happened, it's that one sibling that's right there on their side. The one that talks so much shit, like the eight of wands, and you had to protect yourself. This particular person could have could have spread so much rumor, and then you, but you're as you may be asking, 
how is it nobody saw? You know, because you might have been telling this particular person, look, you might have been ran off, you know, they didn't believe you, and you're like, what the fuck, I'm your family. Excuse my language. And it just puts you in this timeout. God said, let me work. Give me the battle. And you did. You gave them. If you haven't done that, give it to God. Look, give it to God. It's just, it says right here, haunting loss. It's a loss. You can't fight, fight this battle. You have to learn how to forgive, let go, and let God bring you justice. Y si lo vas a hacer, you're going to do it. When you listen to this, to this uh, video, look, you're, God's been waiting on you. Traditionally, you've been looking, but man, you're, you're going to get pissed off to where you feel naked, like vulnerable. And you're just going to give it to God and you take over this justice. And look, this person, looking back, it's, you're going to get this calling. And if you're in isolation mode, you feel like this, nobody's listening. It's because, look, you're about to have this ten of cups, but you got to do the freaking work. Tienes que hacer. And some of you guys are going to shadow box and... Chingis Omari, tear up pictures and everything, and that's okay. Make sure nobody's watching and they don't have a freaking camera because they'll use it against you is what I'm hearing. But it's going to let this frustration go. You know what I'm saying? Because this particular person you were dealing behind the scenes, when you were down, when you were low, when you were in the calling, see, the most high guy sees everything. He knows your heart. But most importantly, he knows the intentions behind your heart. Can't hide that shit. And I'm here. And you're going to get, no matter how it looks, you will get justice. But I'm here. And take it easy, Bubba. Some of you guys have somebody from, from the other side that used to say that a grandfather or a father, <laughs> a grandfather made y'all laugh and crazy. I can smell his cigar. And that fucking whiskey. So that's what you guys have, man. In career, let's get career. Let's get career. Because... I don't know why that you guys needed to hear that. In career, you're dip it says dependably goal-oriented. So in career, the universe, after this trial and everything you went through, you have to get organized. Write down your goals. What do you want to do? How are you going to get there? See? And they want you to do this shit. Hurry. Because a lot of you guys, you guys fight for bullies. Uh, fight for people that don't get bullied. In other words, you stand up for bullies. See, they wanted to... People that have been left out for a lot of you guys. You had to go through this situation. Because even though you were doing it, and you had to go through the feeling. And that's it. that shit sucks. But nobody can tell you how it feels. And God is going to elevate you. The eight of wands accelerating quickly. And they're going to be like, what the hell? Because you stayed obedient to God. God is guiding you. Whatever you're presenting, that's God. They reject it. It's okay. It's God. It's going to reach the ears of the people that need to be saved, the ones. And you just got to stand. Look, she's holding on to the sword like this. You don't got to fight nobody. For whoever the message is or whatever you do, you don't got to run. People are going to run to you because it's God healing, you know? So you're going to stand it. Or if you're a man, you're going to meet this gorgeous lady with the red hair like this. And oh, my God. She might dominate your ass, okay? Be careful. No, I'm just kidding. This woman's going to love you. For my, for my ladies, tienes un rey. There's a king coming in you, and he's going to look at you like this. You might even be trembling. You, the, your heart pumping like this, and you're going to want to go what, left, but you're going to go right. You're going to go the right way, okay? And you might have doors to pick, you know? Why did you guys boy? So in career, it's something to do with Ah, with helping people when it comes to justice. See? And you're going to be passing this torch. Some of you guys are breaking generational curses when it comes to justice. And a lot of people are going to be pissed. Because where you're going, Sagittarius. You're going to love it. Look at you. Some of you guys may have a kid, but a lot of you guys... You're going to heal this inner child. And let me tell you, when you heal this inner child, excitement begins. And what comes behind the excitement? Ay, 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 everything you've been praying for. But you just need clarity. Some of you guys are still going around missing the, missing, almost missing the door 
to go through, you know, because you're thinking of the ex. What the hell do you want your ex for? Yes, the pasado is the past. Look, you're getting new ideas in this isolation phase, baby. It's for you to get busy, get to work, do something. Some of you guys, like, I love to sleep, but sometimes I'm off. I'm, look, my voice is going. One last message. Yeah, sometimes he gives me a break. All right, one message. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in chart. Don't forget your affirmations. Some of you guys haven't been saying the affirmations. Look at the mirror. I am sexy. I am amazing. I am abundant. I attract. I do not chase. Love is all around me. What, just whatever your heart desires, it says right here. Fuck what they think. Exactly. Some of you guys are worried too much of what other people think. And like I said earlier, I don't know why this came out while I was saying, some of you guys, you know, there's nothing to hide. I don't know why. And, you know, we've all been there, but there's nothing for y'all to hide. Even if you reacted a certain way, there's a reason for it is what I'm hearing for y'all to know. They want you to just keep moving forward. Do your affirmation. I am blessed. I'm blessed in many ways, in every ways. And. But it says right here, put this card in your pocket and use it as your mantra today or every day, it says, and tomorrow. And when you start to feel those feelings, it says, fuck what they think, fuck what they think, and fuck what they think. All together now, fuck what they think. Excuse me, Lord. Let freedom ring, because a lot of you guys, I'm hearing this situation, all you wanted was to get away. Now, for somebody to be so pissed off, to take your shit, and to trap you in that kind of way, that's injustice. And I'm sorry you guys had to go through that. But freedom is very important, and that justice, justice card, you are going to help many people how to get out. That wasn't right. Some of you guys... Your reputation was all over the place. You didn't even have to say shit. Some of you guys don't say shit. You don't need to. Exodus 14, 14. Let God handle it. Go read it so you could get, you could get game, baby. When you allow God to do that and you focus on your purpose and go in the direction, because some of you guys are multitask. And some of you guys with business, you're cold. You can lift it up. Some of you guys, it just takes time. They're not going to lift it up or you're not going to lift it up. God is not going to lift it up because of certain people. And look, this keeps get, grabbing my eye. Some of you guys, your protection is powerful. They will regulate on their ass. And behind that, look, these two cards were flipped over. It says Mother Mary, love and peace. A lot of you guys bring love and peace. And look, Sagittarius, some of you guys, you got, this was in the past. I don't know why I'm hearing Apostle Paul. Y'all were ruthless. That's why God loves you. So a lot of you guys, you just keep it real. Bruce Lee. But it says right here, let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible. So some of you guys heal that mother wound. Okay, I don't know why I'm shuffling. Look, you got the world of Yanos Vemos. <sighs> Who's next? I don't know. I just got on. I got to get back. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment. Stay confident. Keep moving forward. Si se puede. Infinitero 888.